beloved brothers and sisters. I've made a request that you spend at least five minutes a day as the awakened Christ that you are. I'm really talking about who you're being, not so much what you're doing. If you allow yourself to be the awakened Christ that you are, it will inform what you say and what you do and where you focus. There are certain rituals that you can invoke in your life that are healthy and life inspiring. And one of these is to allow yourself to feel what it's like to be the awakened Christ. Because at that moment, you've ended the separation between you and me that only occurs in the ego thought system. This one used to follow and was very devoted to a guru at one time. And what he noticed over time was that every time he would see this guru, he had the thought, you are the Lord and I'm a jerk. It became so apparent that he was not enlightened the way this other being was. And it kept reinforcing the separation. When you awaken to who you really are, you are ending that separation. It's no longer you are Jesus and I am not or you are the Christ and I am not. It's your willingness to be open to being who you are, who I am, and then letting that inform what you say, and what you do, and how you feel, and where you focus. One thing you'll notice is that when you allow yourself to be that, you are no longer in a hurry. Nothing seems quite urgent. And the interest that you have in achieving something, acquiring something, making something happen will wane slightly. It's not that these things won't happen but they won't need to happen for you to feel okay about yourself. And you get to just observe the unfolding of your life. In a way that's divine, if you're open to it. So while five minutes a day is a wonderful, healthy ritual to invoke in your life. You are not limited to that. At any particular moment, you can be the awakened Christ because that's who you are. One thing that will return to you is your sense of humor. There's a lot to be joyous about and there's a lot to laugh about. And there's a lot that is absurd when seen from the vantage point of truth. 
you don't have to make those parts of your life wrong, but they will diminish in importance when you realize that love is really all you're interested in. Love and connection and peace. Just let yourself feel what it feels like. Things will slow down a little and they'll speed up when necessary. Have fun with this. I will speak with you again soon. I love you very much.